so for example i will take one table okay this table i will take okay employees one this is one table okay this table this is our source table this is our source table one table this table is main table after that we have many tables okay many tables we have if the data is not available in this table this is the main table for all other tables we should not trigger any other flow any other next flow we should not trigger it see this is the main table first table master table if this table doesn't have data for today i should not trigger any other task next task i should not load it i have to wait for that so if there is no data okay if there is no data i have to wait for some time okay i have to wait for 5 minutes again i have to check data is available there is no data wait for 5 minutes again i have to check no data 5 minutes again i have to check five every 5 minutes i have to check it here okay so three times i have to check if all the three times if it is there is no data we have to send an email okay i tried three times still there is no data please check with source team okay so that mail i have to send it to the source team the team the etl support team if the data is available in this table we have to proceed with other table loads so one table is employees table next table is departments table next table is location table but here employees table is the main table you assume that okay it's a main table this data is being used in another tables also so dependent table so that's why we have to put this way so how can i set the dependency i'll go here i'll create one mapping i'll create one mapping so how to check the data is available in this mapping any idea in this table how will you check whether data is available in this in this table or not m underscore data availability okay so data availability i'm going to create source table which is a source table data availability i'm going to check it the table is employees one so this is the main table okay so this is the one table i want to check whether the data is available in this table then i have to proceed with the data load if the data is available in the source table i have to load it into target table otherwise i should not do it how can i do it here is it possible no it is possible but i'm using different way so what i'm going to do i'm going to make it like a filter condition is false okay advanced filter condition i'm going to make it like false here so if i false what will happen so even though source has data or doesn't have data it will not load it into target table right so target table i'm going to select any target table this table so here i'm going to select this table okay use truncate and load if you want mapping yeah no need to use truncate and load so why because it is not going to load any data to target table no need to use this one unnecessary it will truncate so one mapping i created data availability mapping okay this is one mapping after that you will create main mapping with the data load okay employees data load or whatever it may be for this one we have to create one task right so i will create one task here mapping task data availability go to next data availability task i created so now i will go to create one map task flow go to task flow here task flow create a task flow this is the task flow here so i can create a data availability task flow data availability task flow 
So just uh, I'm creating, I'm going to one task here, data task. So here I'm going to take the task flow, which we created now, right? Data availability task, this one. So if this is create, if it will not load any data to target, right? It will not load any data to target. For example, if this one source has data, as of now, how many records we have? 105 records. If the source has data for today, 105 records, we have to decide. Okay, source has data here. So how can I decide here? The decisions. I can use the field or formula. Formula. Okay. Go to parameters. You can use source success rows. You can use field itself. Source, success, source rows. Success rows rows greater than zero. That means some data is available, right? It will go to this one. Greater than zero. Then I'm creating with the data load, same date table load. Okay, so here I'm going with data load. Data present in the table, something. Okay, in the main table, I'm proceeding with data load. Just I'm mentioning here. And data load, I'm, I'm continuing. So this data load, I can say uh, employees data load, same table. Okay, this one I will take data load and proceed. Okay, clear. If the data is available, if not, if the data is not available, it will go to otherwise, right? It will go to otherwise. So I'm going to make one notification here. So data is not available. I will wait for, I will wait for five minutes. Then I will go and check, recheck again. That's what I'm going to send an email. Okay. So for that, I'm going to count it. So because I, I said, right, we have to check three times. Three times. So this is first time I'm checking one count. So then if the count is, count is, count is less than three. I have to wait for some time, right? I have to wait for some time. Count is less than three. I have to wait for some time. Else, count is greater than three. I have to fail it to throw some error. Okay. Wait for some time. Then again, I have to re I have to check the data availability. Am I correct? Again, I have to check the data availability. So after waiting five minutes, how can I check again this one looping, right? So here we have the jump option. So I'll put the jump here. I have to jump it to jump into the same data availability here. So go to jump here. Where I want to jump to data availability task. I have to jump it to data availability task here. Okay, so here we have the jump now. Got it. So, okay. So, first we have to set it up, right? Yes, notification task. Data available. We have to put here notification. Data available. Just I'm triggering one email. Okay. Just triggering one email. This email. Data is available. Proceeding with data load. Okay. So this way I'm loading. Save this. 
okay this is the one i'm using data is not available this one is data is not available in the source table so you can data is not available in the source table right so this way checking after two minutes here i'm making two minutes you can put any other minute so checking here so here i have to take the count so here i will take first i will assign it count so then count also i will put it here in the email okay i'll go to the count edit content which count i have to select the assignment task count i have to select right okay We'll take the assignment task then assignment task count will take it okay this assignment assignment we have to assign a value so how can i assign a value count so the count variable we should have created before go to start here in the start i have to create one count variable the output field i'll create output field here output so it should create a count so i'll create a count field integer so initial value count equal to 0 okay count equal to 0 so then i have to use it here so first time i checked there is no data count equal to 1 right count equal to count plus 1 count equal to count plus one okay so this way i'm just accounting then this count i'm using here what is the count here the count is just i'm printing the count to to take the count value so first time it will take count one okay first row so count is one if the count is less than three right if the count is less than three count is less than three three times less than three we have to wait for some time wait how much time we have to wait see here i'm waiting one minute okay so you can wait for two minutes or whatever wait for one minute then you can trigger it again otherwise you can fail okay clear so this way we have to do it throw so throw we have to put that error right error message code which code or data availability this one okay something i'm selecting error this way so i can use it is there data now table uh, data is available now yes so it should select this path right it should select this path actually we'll check whether yeah so it has been selected the first path has been selected now it is running so we should have received an email data is available right proceeding with data load yes it will complete okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to truncate this table Truncate table, table link. There is no data for today. You assume that, okay? It's like uh, you can use some source qualifier query also to check today's data. Instead of checking all the data, you can use some date column to check today's data is available or not. So that way you can proceed. But here I'm using. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to trigger again. 
So which path you should select? The second path it should select, the alternate path. This path it should select. It should assign a variable now. So count is one. Notification will send like count one. Count is less than one. It will wait. Again, it will go for. Again, it will check. Three times it will check. Third time it will throw error. So we'll check now. Still it will run. See here, it has selected this path, right? This path it has selected. So it is waiting now. See, it is waiting. But we should have received one email. Data is not available. That email we should have received. We'll get the email. Data is not available in the source table. Checking after two minutes. Count is one now. So we got a count right one. Got it. Again, one more mail will track it. We will get it after one minute. Got succeeded. Wait is one hour over. Again, it will start. But it is still running. The flow is still running. Okay. It will try for three times. Third time it will throw error. One more time we'll get a email that count equal to two now. So that means everything is correct. Why we should get to email? Yeah, we got it actually. So two times we got it right. Two. Then one more time we got it right. Three. So after that you will not get it. Say like this one should be failed. See here, it has been failed because this one has been triggered. Okay, got it now. So how can we set the dependency all this? So this is the way we have to create the flow.